Hello everyone, this is Mam Ma Amano and this lecture video is all about transforming the equation of an ellipse from standard form to general form. For case 1, we have here the center of the ellipse at the origin. For example 1, express the equation of an ellipse x squared over 4 plus y squared over 1 equals 1 in general form. For step 1, you have to determine the LCD of the expression, of this expression here. So, first, how will you know the a squared and b squared? So, earlier on the lecture, on the other lecture, I told you that the a squared is for the vertex or for the major axis or the end point of the major axis. And then the b squared is for the end point of the minor axis. This is also known as a covertex and this one is the vertex. So, you will know which of the two denominators here is the a squared and b squared. The a squared is always greater than the b squared. So therefore, our a squared here is 4. If the a squared is at the x-axis, this is 4, it is at the x-axis, then the type of ellipse is horizontal because the major axis lies at the x-axis, then this type of ellipse is horizontal ellipse. Alright, how do you find the LCD? Just in case you are you don't know how to find the LCD. To find the LCD, all you need to do is skip count on the denominator and then get the least or the first matching denominator or value on the skip counting. So for example here, uh, we have here for the 1. So you have to skip count 1, 2, 3, 4. And then for 4, we have here 4, 8. So the first value of the skip counting that match is the 4 and 4. So therefore, this is the LCD. Four. This one. For step two, you have to multiply the both sides of the equation by the LCD. So multiplying that, this is the LCD, the four, and then multiply that to the both side. To multiply, since that is the numerator and the denominator, you will be you will be dividing that, and then since that is in the numerator, you will put the value or the quotient on the numerator here so that will be 4 divided by 4 that is 1 you do not need to write the 1 just write the variable x squared and then plus 4 divided by 1 that is 4 and then copy the variable that is y squared plus 4y squared equals 4 times 1 that is 4 for step 3 you have to write the equation in form of ax squared plus by squared minus c equals 0 so here you have the x squared plus 4y squared and equals to 4. And in order for this to be expressed in this equation, you have to move the 4 on the left side of the equation. If you move that, you will be able to change the sign. That will be negative 4. So the final answer is x squared plus 4y squared minus 4 equals 0. Another example is express the equation of an ellipse x squared over 6 plus y squared over 8 equals 1 to general form. So, for step 1, you have to determine first the LCD. But first, let us uh, identify the A squared and the B squared. Or when we say A squared, the vertex or vertices, the B squared, co vertex. The A squared or vertex lies in the major axis. The B squared lies in the minor axis. And A squared is always greater than the other value. So, you can determine which of the two here is the A squared. Since 8 is greater than 6, therefore, this is the A squared. A squared is equal to 8. And then the b squared is equals to 6. So if the a squared lies in the y-axis, there is your y. Therefore, this type of ellipse is vertical ellipse. Okay, because the major axis lies on the x-axis. So you can tell because the a squared always lies in the major axis. That is the rule. Now let us find the LCD. How did we get to 24? So you have your denominator of 6 and 8. You have to do the skip count. So for 6, that is 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. For 8, that is 8, 16, 24. So as you can see, we already have our first or least matching type of skip counting value that is 24. They, they match first or the least match among the skip counting values of the two denominators. So the LCD therefore is 24. And then for step 2, you have to multiply the both sides of the equation by the LCD, which is 24, multiplying that here. 24 multiplied to the x squared over 6 plus 24 multiplied to the y squared over 8 equals 24 times 1. So perform the operation 24 times x squared over 6. 24 divided by 6, how many? That is 4x squared. You will be putting that in the numerator since this one is bigger. So and then copy the variable x squared plus 24 divided by 8. That is 24y squared over 8. That is why 24 divided by 8 is 3. And then copy the y squared variable equals 
24 times 1, that is 24. For step 3, you have to write the equation in the form of ax squared plus by squared minus c equals 0. So, in order for you to write that in that form, you have to move the 24 here, the constant term, to the left side of the equation, and that will be a negative 24. And then, therefore, the final answer is 4x squared plus 3y squared minus 24 equals 0. Now, for case 2, we have here when the center of the ellipse is at h and k or at the x and y axis therefore the center is not at the origin so for first example express the equation of an ellipse x minus 1 squared over 9 plus y minus 2 squared over 4 equals 1 in general form for step 1 you have to find again the lcd but first let us designate the a squared and b squared again the a squared is always the greater value compared to the b squared the a squared is the vertex or the end point of the major axis and then the b squared is the end point of the minor axis so among the two, 9 is greater than 4, right? So, therefore, the 9 is the a squared. Therefore, since 9 is placed on the x-axis, th therefore, this type of ellipse is horizontal ellipse because the major axis lies on the x-axis. And then, the LCD here is 36. By skip counting, you can determine the LCD. You have your 9 here up to skip count up to 45. And then, for 4, skip count up to 36 since they match already the first value that match together with the skip, skip counting or least matching value of the skip counting in the denominator is the 36. So, therefore, the LCD is 36. Step 2 is multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. So, 36 multiplied to the x minus 1 squared over 9 plus 36 multiplied to the y squared over 4 equals 36 multiplied to the 1 here. So, the first step that you need to do is 36 divided by 9 is 4 and then copy the variable x minus 1 squared plus, plus 36 divided by 4 that is 9. Copy the binomial here or the y minus 2 squared equals 36 times 1 is 36. For step 3, you have to expand each binomial. This is the binomial. Okay? And then to expand that, for the first thing that you need to do is you can do a shortcut. So to expand, square the first term, x squared, and then double the second term. So 1 plus 1, that is 2. And then add a variable x, so that is 2x. Square this term here. So 1 squared is 1 plus 1, that will be positive. And then on the side, that is uh, square the first term, y squared. And then double the second term here, 2 plus 2, that is 4. And then add a first degree variable of y, so that will be 4y, and then square this term here. So 2 raised to 2 is 4 plus 4, okay? Well, whatever, whenever you square a value, whether that is a negative, that will become a positive here. So if you don't want this method, this shortcut method, you can do a FOIL method, okay? So x minus 1 squared, so meaning to say we have two pieces of negatives, x minus 1, x minus 1, and then x times x, that is x squared, x times negative 1, that is negative x, negative 1 times x, that is negative x, and then negative 1 times negative 1, that is positive 1. Simplify the term, x squared, copy that, then negative x minus negative x, that is negative 2x, just add and then write the negative sign since both of them are negative, and then plus 1. So this is how you get the expanded binomial here or the trinomial that we have here right now. And then for y minus 2 squared, since that is a negative 1, therefore there are two pieces of negatives, y minus 2 times y minus 2. Then y times y, that is y squared. Then y times negative 2, that is negative 2y. Negative 2 times y, that is negative 2y. Then negative 2 times negative 2, that is 4. And then simplify y squared, copy that, and then negative 2y minus negative 2y, that is negative 4y, and then plus 4, okay? So that's how you get this one in the FOIL method. For step 4, you have to simplify both sides of the equation. To simplify, you just have to multiply 4 times x squared, that is 4x squared, 4 times 2x, that is 8x, negative 8x, and then 4 times 1 here, that is plus 4 here. Then, Plus 9 times y squared, that is 9y squared. 9 times negative 4y, that is negative 36y. 9 times 4, that is 36, and then the 36 here. And then move this constant term to the left side of the equation. Moving this one, it will become a negative. So you will have here a negative 36 on this value. And then simplify the equation, the constant terms. You have to simplify that you have the constant term of 4. Those constant terms that do not have a variable. So 4, we have here 36 and 36, you can cancel out the 36 here. 
the 36 and then the positive 1 and then the negative 1 cancel that. Therefore, the constant term that you have now is 4. So, that is plus 4. So, for step 5, you have to write the equation in the form of ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus e equals 0. Okay. So, first, Put the 4x squared and then by squared is 9y squared plus 9y squared here. And then cx is minus 8x here. And then dy is minus 36y here. And then the e is the 4 and then equals to 0. Therefore, the final answer is 4x squared plus 9y squared minus 8x minus 36y plus 4 equals 0. Another example we have here express the equation of an ellipse x minus 4 squared over 10 plus y plus 5 squared over 7 equals 1 in general form. First step is to find the LCD, but first let us designate the a squared and b squared. Since 10 is greater than 7, therefore 10 is the a squared and then the b squared is the 7. Therefore, since a squared lies in the x-axis and a squared is a vertex, therefore this type of ellipse is a horizontal ellipse because the major axis lies in the x-axis. Again, because the major axis contains the vertex. So that is how you can know that. And then to find the LCD 10 and 7, you just have to do again a skip counting. So 10 up to 70 and then 7 up to 70. And then as you can see, the first value that match on both denominator is 70 and 70 here. So therefore, the LCD of this uh, expression is 70. Step 2, you have to multiply both sides of the equation into its LCD, which is the 70 here. So multiplying that, 70 times x minus 4 squared over 10 plus 70 times y plus 5 squared over 7 plus 70 times 1. So 70 divided by 10, that is 7. Write that here and then copy the expression here or the binomial x minus 4 squared plus 70 divided by 7, that is 10. Copy the expression of binomial here, y plus 5 squared equals 70 times 1, that is 70. For step 3, you have to expand each binomial. To expand that, you may do a shortcut such as this way. Square the first term, that is x squared. And then double the second term, since that is negative, that is minus. Then 4 plus 4 is 8x. Copy, put a first variable of the x. And then square this term. 4 times 4, that is 16. Or 4 squared plus 16, that is positive always. And then plus 10, then expand this one through shortcut. Square this one, y squared. Plus, double this value, 5 plus 5, that is 10. And then, put a uh, first degree of y, so that is 10y. And then, square this, 5 squared is 25. So, that is how you expand that in a shortcut manner. And then, equal 70. Or, if you want to do the expansion through FOIL method, this is the method. x minus 4 squared from here, all you need to do is uh, x minus 4 times x minus 4, because you have 2 here. And then, you will have x times x is x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Negative 4 times x, that is negative 4x. Negative 4 times negative 4, that is 16. And then simplify, copy the x squared, and then negative 4x minus negative 4x, that is negative 8x, and then plus 16. So that is how you get this value. And then for y plus 5 squared, you just have to expand that. y plus 5 times y plus 5 since the binomial is positive here so both of the factors are positive so you have here y times y that is y squared y times 5 that is 5y 5 times y that is 5y and then 5 times 5 that is 25 copy the term y squared and then 5y plus 5y that is 10y then copy the 25 here so that's how you get the value of this one for step 4, all you need to do is simplify both sides of the equation. To simplify the both sides of the equation, that is, you have here 7 times x squared, that is 7x squared. 7 times negative 8x, that is negative 56x. 7 times 16 here, that is 112. So next, we have here plus 10 times y squared, that is 10y squared here. 10 times 10 y, that is 100 y, 10 times 25, that is 250, and then equals to 70. And then, this constant term here, you have to move that on the left side of the equation. If you move that, that will be from positive, that will be negative 70 here, okay? And then equals to 0. And then, the next thing that you need to do is uh, simplify the constant terms. You have the constant terms, those uh, magnitudes or value that do not have a variable. You have 112 here, you have... 250 here and then you have the negative 70 so 112 plus 250 minus negative 70 is 292 here and then you just have to copy the rest of the equation for step 5 
you have to write the equation in the form of ax squared, again, ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus e equals to 0. Okay, so to write that, ax squared is 7x squared, by squared is 10y squared plus 10y squared, and then cx is negative 56x, then dy is 100y plus 100y, and then the e is 292 here. So the final answer, therefore, is 7x squared plus 10y squared minus 56 plus 100y plus 292 equals 0. So that is all for the transformation of the equation of an ellipse from standard form to general form.